the heart of Eagle Pass, Texas, two art teachers have dedicated their lives to inspiring students and celebrating the community's rich culture through their art. They have captured the essence of a school that has been both vibrant and welcoming. Join us on a journey through the lives of these two remarkable art teachers as they reminisce about art, culture, and community. My name is Dolores Rodriguez and I'm an art teacher. I currently teach Art One and, and student leadership and uh, art appreciation in the spring. I'm also the student council sponsor, UIL sponsor, and uh, art club sponsor. I've been teaching for 23 years. Yes, I'm the art teacher here at Eagle Pass High, one of the teachers here at Eagle Pass High School. I've been here for, this actually is my third year working here. I've been here since uh, uh, before the schools were divided. So I, I started at junior high, uh, Big Old Pass Junior High, and uh, I was the only teacher teaching the ninth grade classes. Has the school changed since you have been here? It's just the additions. We have, have gotten a lot of additions. The school is being expanded, uh, a lot of new classrooms more students now. So yeah, it's, it's different, way, way different. What activities do you remember from when you first started teaching that they don't have now? Well, that's a good question because back in the days was, uh, we went through, uh, what they, what, uh, we didn't have the block classes. So we actually had to teach the entire year. Uh, we got a group of students, we, we teach seven classes. So the kids took the class all year. So instead of two uh, nine weeks, there were four nine weeks. So you would get to do a lot more work. It was fun because uh, uh, you can actually expand on the assignments and they will do great things. The things that we, we cannot, we don't have the, the time to do right now. So I think it, it was more involvement. The kids, uh, the teachers have more more connection with the students because they, they were actually have to deal with it. You have to be with the teacher the entire year. So yes, it's, uh, to me it's uh, 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 had changed a lot. Now the classes are faster, faster pace. Uh, the kids don't get to experience a lot of things that we used to do back in the days. How the school itself looks pretty much the same, quite honestly. Um, now one of the things, main things that they've done is remove lockers. They've painted the panel, the paneling, and they remove the overhang in the cafeteria. But the school itself looks pretty much the same. What activities do you remember that we don't have now? Okay, from when I started working, we were the freshman sophomore campus, so we didn't have that many clubs. So things in that respect are better. We actually have more clubs, more organizations, and it's more active. As a freshman sophomore campus, we didn't really have those. Those activities were usually conducted at CC Win. However, if you go back in time to when I was in high school, uh, the thing, that one of the main differences was the fact that we had an open campus and the fact that we were allowed to, you know, as part of our classes, like I was in the highlight, I was editor of the highlight, and so we were allowed to go off campus to sell advertisement, um, to go and work on the newspaper at the downtown at the, uh, what was it, the Eagle Pass News Guide. So, you know, that, that, there was a lot more freedom, it seemed, than there is now. I am going to show you a picture from a past year and what it looks like now. Okay, I remember that picture. That was in uh, 2006. Every year, uh, we all teachers went to get together, all the art teachers, and we did something what they call the um, the art art studio um, show for all the students from all the district. And uh, Ms. Rodriguez, basically Ms. Rodriguez was the one that uh, started this. We created a mural every year. Every year we create a mural. And then uh, every year with, with a different, different uh, murals. And then this one, the fun part of the mural is that you can see the pictures of actual students that created the mural and teachers. And, and, uh, and it's sad because we, we don't do that anymore. We stopped doing that because we don't get together anymore. It's, I guess uh, the, the, the fact that now they're more concerned with the, the test, the kids have to pass uh, certain tests. So they try to concentrate more and uh, uh, and uh, you know accountability for the test rather than kids having fun and doing what they used to do. You know, yeah, I, rem I remember that was a great great year. 
Okay, well, um, this is a particularly personal photo uh, in, in the way I feel. The, these were murals that we would paint with the art club and we would start working in January and we would work all the way through May um, up until the day before graduation. It took a lot of hours of, you know, work uh, and dedication from the art club members. And so um, it's kind of painful, actually, kind of, um, it's kind of sad to see those photos because we, we worked really hard on the murals. It, you know, we, you know, when you create a piece of art, you kind of feel there's a connection that you build with the, the piece, and especially the bond that you feel, you know, that you form with the people that you work with. And so to have them suddenly disappear one day, somebody decides we're going to take them down because they're ugly or they're old or whatever. It's, um, my students were very disappointed. They were very offended. And, um, and, and it was just sad, you know, to see the, something that took so many hours, months, like I said, from January through December, I mean, sorry, January through May, we worked on these murals. And then one day somebody decides, you know what, let's take them down like nothing, like they were trash. And that, that was bothersome, not only to me, but to my students. It was an, it was offensive, quite honestly. How would you change Eagle Pass High School? Things to go back to the way they used to be, but the problem is um, uh, because of the fact that now the kids uh, have more time to get the courses they need because you can you, you rely on uh, faster paced uh, classes so they can move on to the following semester so they can take more 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 classes and in and, and, uh, and one year than what they used to be so yeah I, I don't think it's going to happen but it would be nice to see if we, we can you know have a little bit of the old old, old uh, times and then we can the kids can we're more involved have more times to do you know fun things you have to realize that as, as a teacher um, over the years you started with a lot of energy you know, you, when you were young with you know things get easier for you you have more more energy to do things and uh, with the time uh, teachers get tired and uh, now the the state and the government demands more from the teachers and they don't get a lot on reward. So I think that the, the fact that and instead of going, getting things getting better for the teachers with the years, these are not getting better at the country. They are more responsibilities. And I think that there should be uh, some, I guess, uh, modifications in the way uh, the government deals with teachers. At least uh, have more considerations. How do you feel about the talent show that we don't do anymore? The talent show is no longer happening. Um, I was a class sponsor 2007, 2008, 2009, and uh, you know, up until then we had talent shows and they were a lot of fun. They were a lot of work, but they were a lot of fun. It, and it just, it was, you know, there was a level of commitment and work that in so many hours of work that went into it that I don't think the students are willing to, you know, to com you know, commit to doing that anymore. The last time that we had, and I had been telling you this earlier, the last time that we had a, uh, a talent show, it was in approximately 2010. Um, I was, we, we would do, you know, we would tell, you know, obviously we would make an announcement, there's gonna be a talent show. We would tell them this is the day, you know, we would have a deadline for a censorship night. And on that particular day, the students were supposed to show up with their full costume, fully rehearsed. They should know the routines or skits, whatever it is that they were going to do. And unfortunately that, I think it was 19, 2010 when we showed up for, you know, we were sitting there at the table, we had an administrator, we had all the junior class sponsors, the senior class sponsors, and we were sitting there waiting for the kids to perform or, you know, put on their show. And it was group after group who were just not ready. They didn't have their costumes, they didn't have their skits or the routines down. They hadn't rehearsed. And so we, we were like in shock. It was the first time that it had ever happened. And so we said, we talked amongst ourselves and we said, okay, you know, what are we gonna do now? And we thought, well, let's give them an opportunity. Let's give them another week to rehearse and get ready. And we said, okay guys, cause you know, we were in the, it was in the evening with the, when we would do this about six, 6.30 in the evening. And we thought, we'll go ahead and come back in a week, you know, get your acts together, get your outfits, your, you know, your, your costumes, get everything ready. We had to have them show up on, the, on that day with their you know, routine or their act together, 
with the costume because we needed to make sure that whatever was going to go on stage was going to be appropriate. A week comes by and nobody showed up. Nobody. It was like they were not ready, they didn't practice, and at that point the whole thing fell through. And after that, nobody was ever, we were never able to get a group of students to, to put a talent show together. Up until now, I mean, it, it hasn't happened until now. Not even now, but I mean. Stay tuned for our next video where we discuss the athletic department, high school dances, and the bonfires from way back when. For more content, subscribe to Eagle Pass High School Media.